Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Samuel Smith Organic Raspberry, a product, product of England, certified organic, 5.1% alcohol, 11, 11 international bitterness units. Now, one thing I hate when I watch video reviews is for people to read the whole bottle and drone on and on about information on the beer which a person could easily look at on the company's website. So I solved that problem by just fast forwarding through all that long drawn out talk. Suffice it to say it's a raspberry ale. 5% alcohol is 5.1 is pretty moderate. There are some video reviews on uh, and I'll, I'm I'm watching them currently. Well, not actually at this exact moment. Uh, they're uh, they're saying it's very good on Beer Advocate. Rape Beer is giving it a pretty good score. What was it? Um, uh, can't remember. I think seventy four. So people are saying it's you know very good, but it's not like fantastically wonderful. I'm not a big flavored beer person, but that seems to be ooh, a little bit of smoke. One of the big deals these days. I watched one horrible review, if you want to call it. Um, won't name the name, but she was talking about it's a cider, and I don't care if you think I should drink ciders. And I was telling, I was thinking to myself, it's an ale. It's an ale. Why don't you read the bottle? And um, then she, there was so many jump cuts. It was like. Um, it was bad. Right now I'm playing uh, the Master of Hoppets. One of the people that never answers comments to me. Uh, I, I'm gonna. <laughs> I watch all uh, his videos for beers I've reviewed, but I, I almost am tempted to make a video called "Video Reviewers I Don't Like." Or that drive me crazy because they don't answer comments. And sometimes if they do answer a comment, it's either an offhand and ugly remark or it's thanks, cheers. And that really bugs me. You know, it's like you're not really answering comments when you're blowing people off with that. So uh, anyway, that's just like rant stuff. So it's all good. Um, Look at all the animosity between the beer professor Dave and myself that we've had over the years. But he will answer comments. And he'll make comments. And his answers are usually well thought out. And they're not just blowing you off like thanks, cheers. So, you know, there's something to be said for that. Um, so, but of course, animosity, you got to look at that within context. You're not going to ever see me hating anybody over beverages. Sorry, can't get into that drama. Um, it smells like raspberry juice. Now they're using real raspberry juice. They're not using flavoring, okay? It explains that on the bottle. And it talks about the primary, secondary fermentation, and all the intricate details. I mean, their website is going to give you good information. I can make a rant video about that. Companies whose websites tell you nothing. But Samuel Smith is one of the companies that do tell you things. And you can say what you want about Anheuser-Busch, but they give you a lot of information. Moose said, they'll tell you, our brewery was founded in 1867. When did each beer come out? No, you'll never find out. So it smells like background bready ale, the fruit, right? The flavor is the same. It's, um... It's got that ale undercurrent, the malt, which many people will call a backbone. And then it's got the fruit juice out front, but then like blended in with it. There's a little acidity. Um, the body's medium and the finish is dry um, on the dry side, dry side even though it's a sweet beer. 
um, but not sweet from the sugary malt. It's sweet from the raspberry juice. So um, I would give it a high score. For beer overall, the ratings are almost irrelevant because it's so non-traditional, but, um, you know, in the regular beer sense. But I would say it's at least very good, right, for beer overall. For a fruit beer now, a fruit flavor beer, many of them are not particularly good. Um, I had some from KBC, Kennebunkport Brewing, that were pretty depressing to drink, frankly, uh, on, the, on the whole. And I've had it from other companies, but this one is enjoyable to drink. It's um, pretty mellow. It's not overdone. And I think the main thing that helps it is organic, which I know that's sort of a gimmick, but it's also natural fruit juice. Sort of like the um, Abita strawberry and the Abita straw and straw gator because they're using real strawberry pulp. So um, would this be something I would go out and you know, buy to drink on a daily basis or ever again. I would not do that. Now, Samuel Smith's Oatmeal Stout or their uh, India Ale, yeah, or their, uh, what is it, Winter Welcome? Yeah, I would buy those for just regular old drinking because they're good beers that are more in with what I like. Now, my daughter, I should have saved this for her. She would love this stuff. You see the head is kind of thin and it's going to crackle away. It's pink. The beer itself is like a pinkish orange, sort of like, hard to describe, but it's in the red realm, right? The rusty red pinkish realm. Um, I think she would love this beer. It's $5.99 for this bottle, so it's not like super cheap. But then on the other hand, you see some of these uh, 500, okay, 550 milliliters, good. They're like $15, $17, and I have paid a lot of money for some of those, and they're ghastly. I mean, like, horrible, especially those high alcohol ones, like 16 17%, like drinking shoe polish, nail polish, I'm sorry, nail polish remover. Um, but this one is an A. It's a most excellent fruit flavored ale and the best thing about it it's not like cider which is like juice my daughter drinks those ciders I did a cider off track video I hate those things I mean I really hate cider but that's a personal preference uh, issue I'm not telling you don't drink cider if you like it drink it you should enjoy it and really um, be enthused about it but I don't care for ciders this one has that ale beer presence which I like On the other hand, I know some people that drink wine and they have no taste for beer whatsoever. They don't like it. I don't care what style it is. They just don't like it. So that's um, it's whatever you like. So this will be the first beer of the day. It's about 8, 8.45 a.m. And so Les Ailes Bon Temps Relay, a most excellent beer from a most excellent, if all those secretive type company and I'm going to end this review by saying um, I guess I'm sorry for the ranting but um, sometimes I just want to say what's on my mind and um, I always approach the beer drinking community I mean it's wistful thinking right but I always want it to be like a big happy family we all talk about beer and have a good time not all this eh, I don't like him I don't like I, actually I pretty much like everybody That's but that's me but I'm not bragging I just I'm that way. Y'all come on down to New Orleans!